Hey guys, it is Jacob here with eTrailer. If you are thinking of renting an RV for your next vacation or adventure, it is important to understand all the costs involved. Today, we are gonna go over all of the fees that you're gonna have to keep in mind, like the rental fees, the travel fees, and anything else as far as miscellaneous fees are concerned that you're gonna wanna budget in for your RV vacation. The first and most obvious cost is going to be the rental itself. This is gonna vary in price depending on where you rent from. Something like RV Share is gonna be a little bit more safe and reliable, but that friend of a friend that you have on Facebook is probably gonna be a bit cheaper. If you're looking for a budget option, we recommend a pop-up trailer or a small travel trailer. These are gonna run you about 70 to $100 a night. But if you're looking for a little bit of luxury like these guys that are behind me, they're probably gonna set you back anywhere between two to $300 an evening. The next cost to consider are gonna be the travel costs themselves. The first most obvious one is going to be your gasoline. Uh, if you think your car uses up a lot of fuel at the tank now, wait until you start towing a travel trailer where every 100 pounds of weight that you add onto the back of your vehicle is gonna decrease your fuel efficiency by about 2%, and that adds up very quickly. Uh, another thing to consider are gonna be tolls. If you are driving anywhere where there's going to be toll bridges or toll roads, you will have to take that into consideration because RVs are going to run roughly double the rate on any of those tolls. We do recommend you take a look at a toll calculator online to either plan for that in advance or avoid toll roads entirely, which is entirely possible. The last thing to consider when it comes to traveling expenses are going to be the mileage. Much like renting a car, some RV rental sites or renters will have an additional surcharge for the mileage that you've driven. So it's definitely worth taking that into consideration before you hit the road. Another thing to consider is your insurance. This is required in every single state um, and it's probably going to cost you anywhere between about $15 to $75. Uh, this might be included in your rental fee depending on where you rent from or your current insurance carrier might have a temporary RV coverage option that you can look into. But we definitely suggest doing research about what you have so that you make sure that you're covered. Another thing to consider would be generator usage fees. Some RV rental sites or RV renters will rent you a generator as well for anywhere in between an additional five to $10 a day. Um, do keep in mind those generators are gonna run on gas or propane. So you are gonna be required to keep those topped up. So that's gonna be a double hit on your wallet. Last but not least, there are additional fees to keep in mind. Uh, there's gonna be the campsite rental fee, which even though you've already rented your RV, you are still gonna have to pay to park it at a campsite. There are going to be late fees if you don't turn your RV in on time, or cleaning fees if you don't bother to clean out the dump tanks after you use it. And you're gonna to have to budget in for your supplies because there's no telling how many s'mores you are going to eat over the weekend. All right guys, hopefully, we helped give you enough tips and enough information to make sure that you have a realistic budget for your RV rental vacation before you take off. And remember, don't be afraid to shop around and ask some questions so that you're not surprised on the day that you pick up your RV. For any more tips, check out our video on saving some money while you're renting. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Other than that, thank you so very much for watching and take care. If you like that one, click over here to watch another one of our videos. Click over here to read an article about the subject you just watched a video about. And click down here to subscribe to our channel for more of our stuff. Thanks a lot.